travel and wine? What could be better? This is the first time that we managed to bring these ideas into a single project on Ukrainian TV. A well-known presenter and a sommelier are going on an exciting journey around the world. I saw you and became confused. I'm worrying. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we going? How many times do we turn? You will see the entire winemaking process. I've never seen such an amount of wine foam. From the grapevine they grew in the sunlight to sealed bottles of wine on the store shelf. Learn the secret of how one can distinguish a true wine from fake and which sort of wine is better. What is the right way to pour wine? I share this secret with nobody. Sly person, isn't he? <laughs> you have an opportunity to get a prize. The one who attentively watches the program should remember a password. Don't be mistaken. You should be first to go to a winery where we shoot this episode of the program and tell a password. The heart is keeping a beat. Are you ready to see the world? Through wine? You're still not in love with friends? Then you definitely need to visit Kaliur, a fabulous multicolored town with narrow streets, sea breezes, and the scents of flowers. Locals are happy to invite you to visit and enjoy tasty wines with a delicate bouquet. So come with us to enjoy wine and especially friends. Kolyur is a small fishing village and a favorite place for Europeans. No wonder this village was chosen by the great artists Duran, Matisse and Monet. This is how Paul Signac saw this lighthouse. I want to have a look at the world through the eyes of a great artist. This is fantastic. Oh, привет. Hello, I'm glad to see you. The village is extraordinary. Here people can have a good rest and of course enjoy the rays of the sun. We have met here simply by chance. This bell tower was previously a lighthouse. It is a symbol of all local wines. Exactly this image you can see almost on each label of every bottle. This one? Yes. What would you suggest we do? You can chat with local citizens and feel how it is to live on the border with Spain. This task is really great. What next? The password. I will definitely look for it. I have a selfie stick, so now I'm going for a walk. Great, see you later. The holiday season in Skolyur is full of tourists, waterfront restaurants and exciting adults together with naughty kids. Mysterious walls of the king's palace, which was built as the summer residence of the royal court overlook the bay. Later, it was transformed into a fortress that protects this quiet village from the stormy waves of the sea. Today, only excursions are organized and held here. The province of Roussillon has its own peculiarities in terms of winemaking. There are very few vineyards that would be able to grow in the valleys. This territory is solid mountains, permeated with dozens of tunnels and surrounded with many kilometers of serpentine roads. So a grapevine is planted on special terraces. Just imagine it is necessary to build stone gutters on the cliffs, fill them with soil and only then plant a grapevine. And this is very special terroir. As a rule, wine growers have a poor harvest from these vineyards, but it is very exclusive. They get one bottle of wine from three grapevines. But it is one of the best wines, Banyuls Grand Cru. Vineyards, sun, mountains and cedar. What could be better? But there are even better things in Banyuls. The sea and the rocky coastline has a particular effect on the grapes. It seems as if the roots of the vine are cut in the rocks and stratums in search of water. Hot days, which are replaced by damp sea nights, make the grapes especially aromatic. a particular life. Everyone can set the table right in the middle of the local park. Probably the people are preparing for a party. Good morning. May you taste it? Woo! 
It's good that Vitaly doesn't see it. What a wonderful start to the morning. After a delicious glass of wine, France gradually turns into Spain. Let's go, let's go to the embankment. It is easy to get lost among the crowds of people who are enjoying their everyday life. But I plan to do some tourist shopping. This is a string bag used in Soviet times to carry kefir from a store. It costs almost 10 euros. Cool, it's nostalgia. A strange mixture of southern France and Spain is felt here everywhere. There are palm trees, it looks like a beach. There are the mountains, in one word, Catalonia. One of the best wineries in the region is called Land of the Templars. It is open for tourists. We're welcomed here. Traditions of local winemaking here are still associated with Knights Templar. It was they who learned to grow grapes on the Catalonian slopes in the Middle Ages. Even now, some stages of making banules, sweet wine, are kept a secret. Today, I will try to ferret out the secret. Hello, Michel. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Vitali. Hello, Vitali. This is a place from which it is better to see how our vineyards are arranged. They grow on so-called terraces, long stone walls. Why is this? It all depends on the weather. It rains very rarely here, and if it rains, it is literally a downpour. Therefore, we do everything possible to preserve the soil and avoid washing down the plants with water. This royal Grenache grape is used to make wines of various sorts. Colio, Banyuls, an absolutely exclusive wine of the highest quality, Banyuls Grand Cru. 1, Hectares of land are cultivated by employees at our six unsurpassed wineries. These people work under our control. Our wineries are specific in winemaking. Do you see a mark on each bottle during degustation? What does it mean? For you it means that you shouldn't waste your time in searching for our wine in other places. You will only find it here. Why? It is because we sell our wines only to private customers. We do not cooperate with any supermarkets. That's why we should always maintain the highest level of quality. Otherwise, some of our clients will stop cooperating with us. We do not water our vineyards. Only atmospheric fallout wets the soil. We do not use pesticides and water from the city, because it contains chlorine that can seep into the soil. Everything is located in close proximity here. Down the street you can see the tourist flow, and up the street the usual daily life. There you can see towels and sports shoes hanging on a rail. I can stand in the middle of the street and almost touch the two opposing walls. Three persons can hardly pass each other in this labyrinth of color. I can't get there. This is how people live here. I hear jazz music being played. Hello, may I look inside your house? <laughs> yes, of course. Let's come in. Do you live here? Yes, I do. Are you preparing lunch? Yes, I am. This is my kitchen. And this picture was presented to me by my wife. It was painted by artist of Collior. Visit the Templars coffee shop and you will see the painter of this picture named Giner. Let's drink one glass of Banyul's wine. What's your name? Uh, Bernard. Bernard. I'm Lara. Chin Chin. Bernard, you're great. Banyul's wine is the best. Bernard, may I get a selfie with you? Selfie? 
Wine in wooden barrels is kept under the sun, rain, wind and snow at different temperatures. So it has a specific delicate bouquet and taste. Awesome. May I taste it? Oh. It is great. So it is the place where one of the most expensive wines in the world is in the final stage of aging. It is not made annually because it is produced only when the harvest of grapes is rich. Is it a very old grape vine? Yes, it is 40 years old. We use the highest quality grapes. This is a legendary grape vine. Just look how strong it is. This is white Grenache. We need to taste it. It is truly delicious and interesting. May we come inside? No, even I do not have a key from this room. This room is like a laboratory. We preserve here one bottle of every sort of wine from every harvest. Here you can see the oldest bottle of wine. It was produced in 1950. 1950. Vidal, it was made in the times of the first president of this winery and was especially named after him. This is the biggest barrel with 108,000 liters of wine. Can you imagine? This is an entry to a 100,000 liter barrel. I would plunge into it. I do not like to walk through white museums. I would rather prefer noisy streets. There everyone can try on something. Then get lost and finally buy a souvenir for a close friend. A very cool noise. A frog? These are wooden earrings. They're almost like diamonds. Mine's a diamond. Help me. It seems this is the best gift. Okay. It is time to see the next part of the enterprise, where wine is bottled. Let's look how it is done at Vigneros Rose Catalans Enterprise. Such big enterprises as Vigneron's Catalans that produce 10 million bottles have to maintain a sterile environment. The Vignerons Catalans Enterprise produces only vintage Muscat wine. There you will find wine of 1976. Every day about 60,000 bottles are filled with wine on two conveyors. The mechanism works like a clock, minute by minute, and I was met by the chief technologist of the wine factory Ani Dershko. Ani's grandfather was a Ukrainian, so she was very friendly with us. Wine bottling is the final stage of winemaking, so there is no room for mistakes. After all, this wine is drunk all over the world. But the main thing is that Frenchmen love it. On the road to a Castelna Palace where Vitaly decided to arrange a degustation, I found a village of the same name. Everything is made of stone here. There are two cobblestone streets. The village was built at the end of the 10th century. As legend has it, this village was built of stones, which were thrown at the enemy from the roof of the palace. 
It seems that Castelnau is lost in centuries. It is ideal for shooting movies about dwarves and witches. Do people live in this village? No? It seems to me there is nobody here. It is said that 350 persons live in this village. In the 19th century, when people were settled to more civilized places, the village was abandoned. In the 20th century, tourists liked it so much that it entered the top 10 of the most beautiful French villages. Indeed, it is beautiful, decorated with various antiques and flowers. But I advise you not to wear high heels here. Again, serpentine roads and grape terraces. Local winemakers devote all their time to a hard work because no equipment can get here to reap a harvest. So it is ripped only by hand. Before the Diga station, I will feast my eyes on the valley of Côte Vermeille, which is translated from French as a beautiful place. In France, much is related to wine, even this oak tree. Why? Because it is a cork one, and a cork that we see in each bottle of the local wine is made of this oak tree. 15 kilometers beyond the mountains from France and Spain. From this side, we can see familiar grape-growing terraces on the slopes, all groves and the sea. This is the place for meeting and degustation. It is full of stories about the ghosts roaming the passages. It is said that scientists conducted studies here, but nerves of the majority of professors were afraid. The degustation must be somewhere here. The walls and sculptures of the palace are eerie. Wow. A handsome prince meets me. Bonjour. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Will you tell me about these ghostly legends? Stories about imprisoned persons and ghosts. They are truly frightening. And what if this little girl will be afraid? <laughs> She's already frightened. Have a nice rest. It is said that the grave of femme fatale Sincha is located here on the meadow, and there is a passage under this palace. Today we will visit this amazing castle. It is the end of a love story. It began in the Second World War. Cynthia was a British spy who had to seduce the French captain Brousseau. <laughs> She succeeded to do that, and everything ended in a wedding. In general, the castle is very old. It was built in 990. It was a customs point on the way between Spain and France in the Middle Ages. Let's see how people lived in the Middle Ages. Somewhere here, Vitaly is preparing for the degustation. Refined nobles. Oh my god, what fashionable shoes he's wearing! Look what a handsome guy he is! Hello! Wow, what a dress! Oh my, it's so pleasant when you meet me in such a manner. I wanted to be like a Spanish woman today. Did it turn out? I think so. Five points. Do you know why? Look here. I look like a bottle. <laughs> Is it a joke? <laughs> no, I'm simply very beautiful. The label almost looks like my dress. So, Vitaly, what will we study today? Because I've roamed around the hot city so long that I need to cool off at the wine season. It is true, the cities are really hot because we are in the southern region of France, so we have to taste exquisite wines. And by the way, the first of them is called Ice Muscat to cool you off. Oh, let's refresh ourselves. Well, this wine is very peculiar because it is made from the very aromatic variety of Muscat grapes with an incredible bouquet, though it is a dry wine. That is, our perception that Muscat is a sweet wine will be destroyed here. Let's taste it. Let's start.
Why do shake up this wine? First, all the liquid should be on the walls of the glasses, so the volume of the area that is evaporating will be the best and we will feel its flavor more intensively. Counterclockwise or clockwise? For me, counterclockwise is more convenient. There are sommeliers in Kyiv who say the aroma is changing with the direction in which we shake the wine. This is, in fact, it's a legend. Let's smell it already. Yes, let's do that. If I ever drown it, I want to drown in Muscat. <laughs> I'll drown with you. Excuse me for my ignorance, but what is Muscat? This is one of the oldest grape varieties in the world. It is concentrated here in its scent. Next position. Similar to my dress. By the way, the harvest of 2015. I think they were bottled before our arrival. That's fresh and young. It's very nice when people prepare for our arrival. Pink wine is a universal wine. It can be tasted with or without food, and with different products. And how else is it possible to shake wine except this way? All other methods are not aesthetic. I can't even imagine what that might be. Can you demonstrate how professionals do it? Simultaneously? Simultaneous. Then they will move to the other side. This is what professionalism means. The main secret of pink wines is in the scent. You will feel the tint of taste that is inherent in its color. I sense strawberries. Pink wines are those wines that have aromas of strawberries, red currants or raspberries. This is a wine that should be drunk in two or three years because the principle here is working. The younger, the better. Around this beautiful castle, there are many Côte du Rossillon vineyards. Therefore, I propose to go to the red wine Rossillon villages. In one of our programs, we learned how to pour the wine correctly. I remember this lesson. It is necessary to twist the bottle because, as a rule, if a drop of wine falls on a tablecloth, then it is not very aesthetic. It's a problem for a hostess. So what is the solution? There is such a good thing called drop stop. Mm -hmm. This is actually a piece of foil that we can twist likewise. Put it in a bottle. Then we put it carefully into the bottle. And when we pour the wine, there will be no need to spin the bottle, because the foil cuts off and drops very well. Very beautiful. Let's repeat this process well known to us and watch. It's a beautiful process. <laughs> Thank you. I want to get the scent. It is great. Now, there is not much of a scent. Something very sweet. Black currant jam. Exactly. It is a very delicious wine. You know, we have never had disgusting wine. But someone would say that is what not drinkable. You forgot with whom you are dealing. <laughs> someone here has to choose a line of wine so that it will be perfect. First, we travel with you through different regions, which have certain production zones, and among them, these are the best representatives. Well, the next position is also a Muscat grape variety. We planned to prepare a cocktail from it. People like drinking cocktails. Now, in such a hot season, drinking sweet wine and adding tonic and some mint leaves will leave you with an unbelievable and unforgettable impression. But honestly, it's so hot here that while we're wrapped with bottles of this exclusive wine, the ice had already melted. Friends, just remember the recipe. Now we have the fifth position. So let's take the final position. This is one of the few wines in the world that can be combined with chocolate. For all other wines, chocolate is forbidden. And this one is sweet, strong, red, and with four-year-old vintage. I don't like strong wine or sweet wine. Just have a glass to taste it, and that's all.
I'm sure you'll like it. Here's a plug that does not require a cork screw. Just hold the bottle by its body and unscrew the cork. If we keep it behind the capsule and unscrew it, then this will be quite a difficult task. The bottle is uncorked with a light hand. Do we have to hold a napkin here? Did you do everything right? <laughs> we don't have napkins. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we try this wine right now? It is four years old. It probably has some peculiar bouquet. It is quite peculiar, but the bouquet is wonderful. Yellow should be found in nature. Dry and sweet. <laughs> Bravo! It's prunes. prunes. One of the scents. What else? Another one I have prepared will be more complicated. I don't know. Chocolate. Chocolate? Shame on me. This wine can be tasted with chocolate. You can drink it because it has the strong taste of chocolate. All other wines don't have it. And when someone offers you to taste wine and eat chocolate or vice versa, that's a mistake, because chocolate is bitter and sweet, and as a result it makes wine a simple drink. If we travel south and almost arrive to Spain, then it is necessary to buy dry Muscat. If your dessert has more of a luminous shade, then it is recommended to take a bottle of Muscat amber wine. I've chosen the password. Attention! The promised password. Remember it. Come first to the winemaker Vigneron Catalan. Utter the password and receive your prize. I have problems with French pronunciation, so correct me. Is it great? Super. <laughs> Do you like this word? I like it because I'm fond of this wine. So the password is Banyuls. Vitaly, thanks for such a beautiful wine tasting. It suited my dress nicely. I like such harmony in life and in wine. Thanks for this. See you next time. Until next time.